to redo the video. Hello and welcome everyone, I'm Traverian and uh, today we're here for the part 3 of the video of how to make an armature and how to build on it and uh, I will show you um, the next step after uh, the mini foot is dry <coughs> and uh, the first step will be, will be to apply the polymer clay uh, and you're going to need uh, some super clay glue obviously and uh, take something that you can roll out the super glue uh, the, the polymer clay with and uh, we will just <coughs> we will just try to cover uh, the big parts first, uh, so the chest, for example, and uh, make sure you your first layer is really really uh, thin, and make sure that your super glue doesn't drain while you're putting it on. I mean, putting the polymer on, of course, because then uh, you'll get areas that don't stick too well, and it will kind of stupid I mean stupid uh, looking stupid isn't that um, much of a problem but it will come off and not uh, stick to the armature very well and uh, it's a hassle that you can avoid let's put it that way so and as you press on the polymer you will have uh, some spillage and you can avoid that also by um, putting a, a bit less uh, glue on than the actual area you're going to cover to move on so prepare another sheet it on again. Here we'll just continue with the glue and press that on. And uh, f for example, if you when you don't use enough super glue, this is what you get. So this area will, will move and come off, and uh, you don't want that for for the initial um, layer. So. Gonna do the few areas back here that uh, we missed. Again, I'll just prepare um, a layer that is roughly big enough. And uh, if you feel like you're not um, pressing in, pressing it on enough, like I said, you can use your um, 
round tool. Um, probably the best would be to use wood. So you can actually roll it on like that. And uh, it um, makes sure that the polymer has contact with with all the the mini put that is below. And uh, here I'll just press this on. Cut that off with my fingernail. And again making sure that everything is covered. And uh, we need a bit more here in the middle. Just a very tiny drop. And uh, the more experience you can get, the more you will find out um, your own way to cover this really fast and still don't have too much spillage. I mean, here it's not that much of a problem. You see here I had some spillage. Um, as these areas are going to be covered anyway. But um, the smaller your scale is, the more you want to be careful with the super glue as well. Because um, <clears throat> if you, if this would be 32 millimeters, uh, let's take the hand for example, then the the wrist wouldn't be a lot thicker than this. So you want to be careful uh, with spillage of super glue, and you will I, uh, ideally try to avoid any spillage at all. And this scale I can be a bit more, uh, you know, more YOLO. Okay, let's see if that is enough. So cover the arm. And again, just use enough super glue so it sticks um, and try to avoid spillage. I'm moving a bit faster so you can see everything um, you want to, especially when you're doing it the first time. Just go a bit slower. And like I said, especially if you're doing smaller scales. Don't do it too fast. All right, that should be good. Still need the upper arm. on the sheet you prepared and uh, especially on arms I, I want full coverage because for the initial layer because um, if you get any any parts that don't stick too well um, you're gonna be in trouble and uh, here I actually have um, an area that comes off see this didn't want to stick here so I'll just uh, add a tiny little bit of super glue and press that back on I 
again uh, try to avoid spillage uh, work a bit more careful don't work don't work like me <laughs> all right uh, almost there well I mean it's just uh, repeating the step uh, for all the other um, extremities In a really thin sheet and uh, covering this in super glue, starting up here at the hip. And the uh, legs are usually a bit. Uh, thicker than hands uh, and arms. So that's fine. So let me quickly cover all the rest. Mystic. I can see I still have a bit uh, of the leg here showing, so I'll cover that as well. Then the only thing left is the arm, uh, the second arm and the head. table is not too sticky this is, works pretty well can also use a bit of talcum just to load it okay that was a bit much glue
and uh, here I decided that that uh, at least this hand will be separate so I'll um, I'm not too worried about actually um, putting on too much or too less because uh, I will cut this off anyway and make the the hand that holds the dagger separate uh, as well so not too worried too much uh, not too worried here and uh, here this hand will probably hold a a cloak back so I haven't really decided uh, on what's what's gonna happen here um, I just know that I that I need to clip off I'll just clip off uh, this extra mm, bit here because I'll probably be able to uh, sculpt the fingers uh, onto the cloak. Um, that's for a later step. So we don't need that right now. Okay, last uh, two things. Um, the neck. And I usually want to do this very thin as well. So I'm just putting on a bit of clay and rolling it out with the tool. And I'll just press it on with my fingers. Um, you'll get covered in super glue, but uh, don't worry. I mean, unless you're allergic to super glue, then. Uh, it's probably just uh, use uh, your your rod. Um, last thing, the head, um, and I will just. I usually do it like this. I take a, a very thin sheet. Um, that's probably too large and <clears throat> then I'll cover the head in super glue and uh, press it on from the front and then just cover all the sides and slowly press on the whole thing and here I'll clip that off it's it's no no big deal really just make sure everything is covered and everything sticks and you're good again just mm, make sure that you cover uh, that the first layer, layer is just really really thin um, especially and like I said if you go down down to the uh, smaller scales I got a bit of input showing here I'll just quickly cover that and probably also here here we go and uh, this should be the last thing. Um, looks weird now. Doesn't look like a miniature at all yet. But uh, from here on, you know, you can just apply the volumes. Uh, I'm gonna start, for example, with the hip area. And in this stage uh, and scale, I can still use my fingers. So I'll just press it on. Make sure you uh, don't have too much um, air between these layers because um, it's, it's no problem when baking, but it will collapse a lot when you press on mm, on top of these layers. And especially on larger scale stuff. Uh, 
you get um, a, a, a smaller result than you want to even though you already applied a ton of clay so yeah um, I'll just continue to slap on clay uh, but this will be the subject matter of another video so thanks for watching uh, don't forget that I uh, have a twitch channel where I stream four times um, a week and you can just drop by and ask questions and chat if you have any questions uh, on YouTube regarding this video uh, just drop me a comment uh, but for now, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.